Hello everyone. I hope the previous few videos have explained to you well the transition from Excel to Power Query and Power Query to Altrex. We did a brief discussion on why Altrex. This time, let me deep dive. So one of the primary reasons why users use Altrex is for the analytics. There are so many built-in features regarding data investigation techniques, predictive and prescriptive tools, plus demographic and behavioral analysis that simply can't be thought of in Excel or Power Query. So before we take a project, let's explore the user interface. When you start working with Altrix, this is how your window would look. Now, do not get overwhelmed. I will explain it all to you. I have divided this entire window into five parts. The first part is what we call the tool palette. It consists of all the single icon buttons, which are nothing but tools. You can click, drag, and drop to the panel below. We'll see how. In Excel, this area is called the ribbon. Next, the tool search box. Sometimes it's easier to write the name of the tool and then get a window showing all the results. And from there, I can drag and drop the tool which I want into my working area. I'm willing to bet you'll fall in love with this feature. Next, this is what we refer to as Canvas, the workflow canvas. All the tools, when they join hands and they complete a task, they together are called a workflow. In this canvas area, when you start using these tools, the majority of the tools would have something that is called an input anchor and output anchor. You would see the same green icons in the results panel as well. We'll understand the significance of this later. Next, you'll see the configuration panel. Each tool, when used, has some settings that can be changed to give the optimum output. So think of this configuration panel as the settings box. Next, the results window. In short, it gives you a preview of what is happening with the input and output data. As we take an example in the subsequent videos, we'll see each of these buttons meaning. In the last few minutes, this is what we learned, the basic user interface of Altrix. Soon enough, we'll talk about the tool palette individually icon by icon. You'll have a tab called In Out, and you'll first focus on the red dotted icons. Next, the preparation tools. You'll see some familiar names such as formula, filter, sort, etc. And we'll see how to connect with Excel to help us learn this technique better. Next, the join tool. This is a next level of lookups and index formulas. Next, parse. A bit of data cleaning using text to column, something that you're already aware of. Next, transform. One application of this tab is to restructure your data sets. And second is to give some summarized information. Next, reporting. So once your data has been prepared and connected, you would want to show this as an output. If you want to send thousands of customized reports to thousands of the users containing different information, this is the place to be. Next, documentation. When the project is large, there will be multiple tools in your workflow, and it's important that you document the process and the logic well. So, what are we waiting for? Let's deep dive with a sample exercise in the next video. We hope to see you there.